But no. I really should be doing it in the next episode, but... Why are they booing? Sigh. So you're finally here, huh? See, I'm... I'm really not a great gym leader. Figured what... what that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. And this is a simple Pogo gym, gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon, but oh well. I still hope you enjoy this battle. I'll enjoy it way more not being able to Dynamax, okay, buddy? Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spike Muth Piers, the Dark type user. And you want to challenge me even though you know you'll lose? Then this song is for you, you foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party, Spike Muth. It's time to rock. Okay, Piers. Okay, I like the energy. The energy in this place is great. Um, let's go, Piers. What are you gonna send out? Something super hard to make it Yes! You got the H-O-E! The E-X-P-H-O-E! -E. You know my style! Okay. You know my style, Pierce. Okay, you know who's... You know who I have for this, right? You know exactly who I have for this. I'm not sending it out, though. I'm not gonna send it out. There's no reason to. I'm gonna hit you with a uh, guava apple. Yeah, guava apple's fine. Wow, his music's so much... Why is this music actually really cool, though? It's not the same gym leader music. It's not, but it's amazing. I say as I like rock music anyway, so it's fine. Morning sun. Oh, you're a healer! Dude, why do you actually play like I do? Ah! Yes, okay, if we if we actually paralyze that, I actually would like that. No, okay. <laughs> of course not. You know, when I actually want him to get paralyzed to kind of see what he's going to do, we don't get paralyzed. But it's okay. We got a lot of experience. I'm going to say like 4,500 experience. See, I know my girl. 4,800. Okay, not quite 4,500, but it's a little bit a little bit more. Weavile. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. We're fine now. We are okay now. <laughs> see, Tarot died for a reason. Um, unfortunately, but it had to happen apparently because we were going to fight this thing. Oh, everyone's going to stink, but who cares? Go Skuntank. I, you, you just, I like how he says his moves though. Like if it was, if it was not a randomizer, he literally says his moves. Ice beam. That could hurt. Oh, wait, you're a Weavile. No, it wouldn't. Never mind. I'm being silly. I, I'm like, oh, that could be dangerous. No, it literally can't. Literally cannot be dangerous, but it's okay. Seismitoad? Oh, well, I know we're sending in on that. No, no. Do we have any other person with grass? We should. We don't. It's okay. Spoopy's kind of the star of this episode. Origin poles. Ooh. That should do a chunk. Not a lot, but a chunk. Yeah. Now we get paralyzed. Now we do when we don't want to be. Mud slap. Oh, no. This is the game he wants to play now, isn't it? I'm not a fan of that. I hope you know. That's, this, he's playing a gross accuracy game.
We're gonna miss again, aren't we? Nope, we're good. That's gone. Now we can swap out and be okay. Spoopy wants to... I love the effort. I <laughs> I love the fact that you want to learn a move that doesn't take accuracy checks. But, no. <laughs> That's, of course. I talk about, oh, you're going to play these accuracy games. Spoopy's like, do you want me to get rid of that for you? No. Klefki. Yay, taking out all the Steel Fairies today. <laughs> I think we've actually seen all the Steel Fairies except for Mawile in this one episode alone. <laughs> That's funny. What? Did he talk about having a Contrary ability? I don't know, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. We got a crit. Good job, yay. That's a sense, too. She's crit two of the Steel Fairies in today. Or no. She's a rock fairy, is what she 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 credited Deancy earlier. Thievel. At least he does have a dark type. Time to meet another member of my crew. Face the proud Thievel. Oh, that's gonna hit. That's gonna hit pretty hard. It's resistant, so it didn't actually. But Thievo lived. It has. It's got. It has to. Have, there's no way Thievo would live normally. Not awkward. I'm not too worried. Lopany is the final mon. Of course it's clickbait. Why would it not be clickbait? Um, I'm saying in. I don't do our cars. Get it? Not songs, not moves, not my Pokemon. Desolate land. Copying the style of Marnie, I see. Oh, you're going to get the freeze, aren't you? No, you didn't. You're bot. You're gone. Bye, Lopany. Bye, Lopany. Have a great day. Well, that does it. Oh my gosh, another crit. We kind of crit our way out of this, and I don't like that, but because that means Raihan's gonna be a pain in the mother loving him, but but it's fine, right? It's fine, everyone. Me and my team give it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime soon. I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Here's your dark badge. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 55. Here's your uniform as well. I've actually been thinking of just selling them at my concerts. Dark uniform. Honestly, though, it makes sense. My little sis Manny is going to challenge me next, I bet. That was actually kind of sweet. You were watching, sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned to battle and all that. That's right. It reminds me. Marnie, there's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here in Spike Muth as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You'd planned to retire after the Champions Cup, right? I think you've really become a great gym leader. Even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, and my answer is still going to be a big fat no. I mean, when I end up becoming the champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Good point. In that case, let's see your, let's, let your big bro see if you have the skill to become a champion. 
Hey, John, thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next. Clear out for a bit, okay? She's like, I don't want you to see me. Wow, you beat Piers? Here, have Snarl. Well, thank you. Hey, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad, even the champions come to sort things out. Oh, hey, you gave Piers the thrashing, didn't you? You should head over and help. Come on, come on then. I'll show you the way. Kaboom! John, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. The only Pokemon gym badge left you have is the Dragon type gym leader Rihon, right? Rihon is the only trainer out here that I would consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. Yeah, I'm aware. That's why I'm freaking scared of him, but it's fine. And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me to stop to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it, but don't worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep all of you safe. Kaboom! That came from the tunnel. I wouldn't you say? Seems like I'm about to have a champion time. Is it going to tell me to go through the tunnel? Yes, it is going to tell me to go through the tunnel. I'm going to save that for the next episode, though. Hopefully y'all are having a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next episode when we take on Raihan. I'm definitely nervous about that. It's going to be a big scare, but it is what it is. We're going to have some fun in a double vital gym. See you guys later. Well, I am back, but I definitely have the everything's about to go wrong kind of vibes going on. Um, which means I probably shouldn't be doing this right now, but it's fine. Everybody risks. What is that? Honestly, like, oh my gosh, how could I like? But anyway, here's our team layout. Uh, the Raihan is level 48, so I'm a little nervous, but I gotta curb the nervousness. Um, he does have a Dynamax, which means that he is gonna have some scary, not, uh, scary stuff, but this is the final gem, everybody, of Sword and Shield. I have to be okay with taking a minor risk, and it's not even a risk technically because, well, why is there wild Pokemon Dynamaxing? I don't know. Do we need to care about that? Oh, hi, Hop. I don't... Can I fight you, actually? Please, please, please. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Give me experience. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Please. 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 No. Of course not. What did you do? Well, take a look at the crazy news. Look at that Parkerster. If only that was Travis Kelsey, then we'd be okay. But it's fine. Dude, I'm, I don't even need to imagine that. That would be dangerous, dangerous, dangerous thing. See, that's Lee. Isn't he the, really the greatest? Um, yeah, Travis Kowski can take the place of Parker Star and we'll be okay. I knew Lee was strong, but really makes you appreciate how great he is. Let's go meet up with him. He should be at the Hammerlock Stadium right this minute. Also, I just bit my tongue. Yaws. Did I want the sil silicobra? Is that what it is? Santa Copra? Santa Cobra? Um. Hmm. He should be at Hammerlock Stadium. Can't we just fly there then? Actually, now that we've interacted with Hop. Oh my gosh, John. Why did my <laughs> my brain almost did not put two and two together? That would have been so. I would have been so upset if I didn't actually officially finish putting those two together. Also, we do have another gym badge, so can we get max potions? I don't think we can buy four stores, but max potions, maybe. Mm, brain, uh, thanks for freaking working today. I really do appreciate you. Me when my brain actually wants to function. Love it. Thank you, buddy. Time to do this. Hammerlock Stadium, here we come. Over here, oh my gosh. I can't believe you actually went that other direction. Well, if it isn't John. I'd been expecting nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down those Dynamax Pokemon with no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all. But what's all going on in here? An overflowing red light. What, Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot? Yeah, but like, why? 
I'm not sure what's going on here, but the red light could suddenly appear again. Anytime, and we'd have no way of knowing. But to be able to protect such things is part of a scientist's work. Grand Grand! The chairman called me. He wanted me to tell, or he wanted to know about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomena. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. After all, the chairman is all wrapped up in fretting over the future of the energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more than anyone about the darkest day, after all. Are you saying that the red light can be connected to the darkest day? Oh my gosh. Oh. Hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? I don't know, have a Pokemon battle? <laughs> there's gotta be. Thanks, I appreciate the thought, but all we could ever ask of you is to ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everyone in the future, everyone's future safe, but you keep doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course. You are the undefeated book champion after all. Oh my gosh. Gran, there's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally, of course I would. The only thing you can do is entertain the folks. <laughs> That's literally what Leon said. <laughs> I don't need you to help. I just need you to entertain. And I'm like, Leon, I already have so many offers that I've entertained. I sound like a man in free agency. No, I don't have any offers to entertain. Let's be fair. If I had them, that would be interesting. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to Hammerlock Stadium as, you know, we're going to, like I said, we're getting two gyms done today. I did officially split the episode. So, like, what happened and what I decided was it was dumb of me to have a 50 minute episode when I could turn a 30 minute episode into something even better or have two 30 minute episodes or 30 or 40 minute episodes um, into something better and make for better content that way. Um, so content formatting, it's important. I'm a Pokemon, may I help you? Well, I guess I would have checked you as well. Oh wait, what about you? What is the female? Uniform shop. The pointless uniform shop. I don't know where the heck to change. It's kind of funny. Like, I feel like I should know where the heck to change. Show us what you can do, John. What if I don't want to? Are you thinking you're ready to be defeat Raihan? Absolutely not. But am I going to try? Of course I am. I don't even know. Yeah, like I said, not knowing where to change in my grass uniform. Actually, I don't even know what uniform I would wear. Po oh, I could probably wear the poison uniform now. Poison's my majority type. Damn, I missed out. I guess even if I bought the uniform, I wouldn't know how to put it on, which means that it, it literally was point. <laughs> I don't know. Me, I'm going to be mad at myself. Also, me, why, you mad, being mad at yourself is dumb right now. All right then, John, time to explain how this gym mission works. The rules are simple. You've got to defeat three Pokemon trainers and a, I personally trained in doubles. The Pokemon gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who would, who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format, or why I provide a format where you can really show off your brilliant combinations. You and your Pokemon should be capable of by this point in the, map, in the game. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time to take... Time to take somebody else's spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. That is me, Sebastian. Leader Raihan has taught me two things. First, that dragon types are ferociously powerful. And second, that I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to utilize that power. I think they all have three poke or two Pokemon. I don't think they have four. If they have four, this could be even crazier, but I think they only have two. Crobat Dunsparce. Okay, interesting combination. I'll take it. I won't complain about that. I, I like when we get some interesting combinations on the field, especially when I forget that Crobat exists for the 800th time. Huh. What do I want to do, though? I definitely don't want to... I think... Here's the thing that this is going to have to show me, is that I don't have to... I have to play conservative while also knowing my stuff. And, like, Crobat actually causes a problem for me right now. With that poison and flying typing. On top of each other. Like, the way that it is. So, I'm going to start 
by guav appling the dunce bars. And then a rising voltage on the crobat. I think it's a good start. You attacked with the wrong Pokemon, my good sir. I'm not gonna say I'm mad. I'm not mad about that. I mean, if you want to attack with the wrong Pokemon, you can totally do it for me. But yeah, wrong Pokemon. Because now I'm faster. And I Oko that. Yeah, that's it. Crush Grip doesn't attack the. Yeah. Good job for attacking the wrong Pokemon. Really do thank you. Couldn't think enough for doing that. Also, did we figure out if it was two Pokemon? Yeah, it is two Pokemon. So, Guav Apple and Rising Voltage to do exactly what I did last turn. And murder. There we go. Definitely down for that. That was e that was easy. Not easy, but also getting fruition on this field is a big plus for us. Fruition wants to learn the text. No. No, there's no point for it. Like I don't have any like I don't have earthquake or anything like that, so there really is no point to detect an earthquake. Now, the question is, do I have time to heal in between battles? I probably don't. And if I do, that's cool, but... Wow, I can't believe you beat me in a doubled battle. Well, get better. Time to face the second trainer. Come on, Camila. Oh, you do get... Okay, we do get time in between... I mean, I guess I'll take advantage of it. I won't say no to sort by, no, 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 sort by type. What does the energy power do? Is it better or something? No, okay. I'm going to keep my same lead as because I think that honestly, here's what I'm seeing or what I'm thinking. Like, bulky, bulky lead is fine. Wobbuffet Stoutland. Speaking of bulky, kind of exactly what we were talking about in the bulky department. Okay. Stoutland has download. This one does at least. So that's oof. Especially because he got an attack increase. Hmm. Oh, I have Aura Spear now. I forgot about that. Bye, Wobbuffet. Yay, yeah, should. Get to level 51 by the end of this. Oh, I use Energy Bone. I have Apple. Oopsies. Entrainment. Oh, you're giving download to me. Wait, will that pop off? Thank you, I guess. Um, I can't say I'm not upset about that. Oh, wait. Can I do the info screen? No, I don't want the info screen there. I want the info screen here on Spoopy. Attack plus one. Okay. See, I'm trying to figure out how some of these screens work because I just haven't really cared enough to pay attention because I've been sliding through. But I might need to have those screens here. So I definitely don't want to try and do something stupid. There's the yay level up we were talking about. Yeah, we might have to put Spoopy in the back for a minute. Spoopy's kind of being a true Spoopster. We just all did not get damaged in that fight, did we? No, we did not. Wow, okay. Aria. Oh, Aria, what are you going to do? A dollar battle. You can combine the strength of two Pokemon and push through it. Or you can have one of them support the other. Let's see what your strategy is. Um, just both of them battling through it. Aria, it's really not that hard. Pelipper and Talonflame. Ooh! That would be a really fun combination if it weren't for the fact that my team's actually really good. Um, 
And actually, with this situation, I will go ahead and switch out Spoopy into, um, I think into, into Whaleabout. Yeah, Whaleabout. I think Whaleabout's better here. I don't want Pelipper to somehow live this and then hit hard. Okay. The weak armor does trigger. There's no way Pelipper lives this right. No way in the world it does. Okay, cool. I just played it safe. I'm fine with playing it safe. In all honesty. Because here's my thing about playing it safe. When you have the ability to play it safe, why would you not play it safe? Okay, we're gonna hit into me again. But Whaleabout's gonna finish it off, so we're fine. Also, this is almost empty, isn't it? It is almost empty, look at that. Good job, Whaleabout. Good job finishing the, finishing the job, buddy. Pointless crit, but that's fine. I'll take a pointless crit over not or at miss or something stupid, so. That is something that I've been kind of thinking about lately is like, you got to remember that in RNG based video games, stupid, stupid can happen. So one of my series that I'm going to be popping off with lately is kind of taught me that <laughs> stupid can happen. So, what do I want my lead to be, though? That's a good question. I'm thinking that, like, in actuality, it should be something like this. I don't want to, I don't trust the quad weaknesses. So, I'm down for yay daddy, the yay daddy combination. That actually is a fun combination. I want to see how this works. I actually like that thought process. <sighs> Gym 8. Dude, that's a super nasty combination, though. Yay being the damage dealer and Dottie being the one that just sits there and does what it needs to do. Protects Yay and heals himself. But I guess I should have expected nothing less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promising. Anyway, you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea how high of a hurdle that is? And his greatest rival, I guess that is I, Raihan, will have to show you how it is. Raihan, gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks two-on-two -two battles. You must be prepared for any situation to fight against a foe like him. I don't know why he said talk to that himself like that in third person, but that was that was that was definitely weird. But okay, get to hear this. We get to hear the actual. <laughs> this is just the circle of memes. This is just the circle of memes. What the heck? Yay! First off, on both of our squads, because of course we have 50k, and then Daddy, because. <laughs> Couldn't couldn't be any more perfect. Um, hmm. Bad lead matchup for me though. That is actually not good to start. How much? I don't trust Knocked Owl. Will we'll do too much. I'm actually gonna play the protect game here. Oh. <gasps> Yeah, I'm going to play the Protect game. And then... Landsrath will only hit Yay. But I think I'm going to go for it. And hopefully the Knockdown is going to attack into me. That's my hope. Mm, that was perfect. Now if we can kill the Yay on the other side, that will be even more perfect. 
This is solo targeting into the yay. <sighs> yay took that. Hmm. I gotta stay in with the friend guard. I gotta keep the friend guard going. Extreme speed hopefully shows that it's not a huge threat. This, that's a risky play, but I'm going for it. You know what? I'm okay with going for the risky play. Oh, for a second I thought this said it missed. I was like, it was 100% accurate move, excuse me. Yeah, I'm okay with going for the risky play here. This knockdown is gonna be a pain in the butt regardless, so risky or not. I kind of would like my plus one attack. Poison's gonna chip. Metagross. Not a fan of that either. But at plus one, I will attack into the Metagross. And I'm actually gonna have Hey Yay Heat Wave. Maybe get that burn off? No. Metagross uses Grab. Landrath can hit the Knockdown one now. Knocked Owl wraps into Daddy. Ugh. Of course you do. Oh my god, I forgot to get the... I was gonna get the... Uh, the, um... The Assault Vest to prepare for this combination fight. Because it would have been Yay, Assault Vest, Friend Guard. Stab that hits both. Non-stab that hits both. Daddy having protect. I like literally. I swear that assault vest might bite me in the butt. What do we got next? Articuno. Oh. That is not the one I wanted to see. That is, and we're wrapped, so we're bound with Daddy, I think. It should, it'll probably say I can't switch out or something like that. Yeah. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. I'm gonna protect. And then with Yay. I think this is where I feel comfortable sending in fruition. Yeah. We're gonna be freed from the wrap though, because the knocked owl fainted. <laughs> Lap dance. <laughs> Why would it not? It wouldn't be any other Pokemon. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um. As far as psychic and flying though, as far as that goes, we're kind of in trouble with that typing. I'll be perfectly honest. 86, 183. This is better, especially defensively. I'm gonna go to Katie Girl. And then with fruition, I'm gonna hope that Spectral Thief will kill the Articuno, but I don't think it will. It 
The other problem I see is Lap Dance hitting a good grass move here. I'm actually surprised we're faster. I could have stayed in. I did not know that we were. I thought that Articuno was fast. Trick Room. It had to have been Trick Room. That is the only logical explanation. But I mean, if you're in the Trick Room, why slow me down? Is there any other psychic moves that have like negative priority? Oh crap, we're Dynamaxing right now. Um, oh, Dynamax Vanillux, huh? I was not keeping track of the Dynamax situation. That was my problem. Oh no. I was not keeping track of that. I didn't even pay attention to its level. John, what are you doing? Okay, lap dance might not be gone though. No. Wandering spirit. I'll take that actually, that's fine. Hail being up. Not as fine. Okay. I would like to get the burn off. 50% chance we can do it. Mm. Katie. Look at you go, girl. That now drum beating is not gonna, or the, the grass attacks aren't gonna do much either. I'm gonna play it extremely on the safe side though. We're gonna get rid of the Blossom, because we're faster. Blossom's gone. I don't think he has another Pokemon or else he wouldn't have Dynamaxed there. So we're down to the one. No matter who he's attacking, it will not kill. And then burn kills, right? I mean, I guess regardless of if it does. We just bust out with 100% accurate moves. And we're fine. I might have lost, but I'll still look good. Maybe I should nap, uh, snap a quick selfie. I don't think you should deserve a, you don't deserve a quick selfie after that performance, Raihan. You really don't. In the aftermath of the furious battle, I fear feel as pure as ref and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival, I've seen seems I've grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you what you want then. Proof of your victory and the dragon badge. Okay, why did we actually just get like a junk shot? Like, I mean, again, I don't mind, but like, how tall even is he in this situation? Because like, he's even on his knees. Like he's bending down to Either we're really short, which I would have feel like I would have noticed by this point, or Raihan is tall. Now, when you're way through the semifinals and the finals, for your chance to challenge Leon, you must. 
you owe us that much, that much at least for beating us in the battle here today. No, because standing next to that guy, we don't look that short. Dude, yeah. No, Leon actually dwarfs that dude. Or not Leon. Um, Raihan dwarfs that. Okay, Raihan. I see how it is. You were going easy on me. I see. That makes way more sense. <laughs> me. How tall is Raihan in Pokemon Sword and Shield? Number 30. You have completed your gym challenge. Number 130. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength in the whole region at the Champion Cup. Raihan, I'm here to see just how good you really are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out lots of different strategies, and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to beat you and John and even Lee himself. I'll be seeing you, John. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you are feeling up to it, you might want to go to the Wild Harry and train really hard. It's almost like you read my mind. In the next episode of the Pokemon Saga Lock, we are going to be going to the wild area and obtaining the rest of our possible encounters. Because I should have done it sooner. My bad. But I feel like you guys should actually get all the encounters possible and know what's going on before the kill episode on April 5th. So, hope to see you guys then very, very soon. Bye.